How we doing folks? The old cougar here. In this battle, it's a 10v10 battle, but I want to talk about assessing the battlefield, target priority, enemy awareness and their, their positioning, and where your team is being lit up gives you a little bit of hints and tips on where and what enemy has spotted them and what potential damage they can cause. Now, as time goes on, you'll learn what each tank damage can cause, whether they use HE or AP or APCR or Heat or Hesh or whatever. All tanks have different damage levels depending on what ammunition they're using. Now, I'm in the, 11Z, the, the WZ113 GFT, Tier 10 Chinese TD. Um, I'm assessing the field where I am now. I'm not going rushing up front. Like, as you look at the map, we're spread from A right across to D. We're spreading a sort of line mid across it, looking at the mid of the map. Now, they've got a heavy sitting on B, and they've got a med away down by our number three spawn, where we've got a TD and a med, and that med's away. Their Project Louis is gone. Now, if you look at the top bar above where the score point, where the, the clock is, you'll see the little red and green indicators, the icons. Now, when the battle started, they had two heavies, three meds, four TDs, and a light. Now, looking at the icons at the side, if you miss the lineup at the start before battle starts, and you miss the lineup, learning what these silhouettes on your right hand side of the enemy are is a major advantage to you knowing what's been taken out because they've been greyed out and what's left. Now I know there's two 183s left, I know there's a 30B left, I know there's a 4005 left, there's a Minotauro left, there's a Sheridan left and there's an M103. So I've got a priority, there's a 103 there. Pale blue dot. Mm, rain. Rain clan. And I'm pretty sure that 183 is... I uh, definitely was a rain player. But anyway, that's the 30B that's coming up there. You, you, you often learn as well that um, learning what the health points of the tanks as they start are. Some of them are similar, some of them are the same. But as you go on, you can learn by what they are. And if that... If two of them have the same health points, but I've been lit up by something. 30B there. Let's drop one into the turret and the, the hatch. There's the other 183 and the 4005 sitting. And he's activated his speed boost on his reload. His interclip reload. But there's the 183 up there. Let's drop one into him. Now both of those hit me, but they both used HE because they were low, low damage. Now that 4005 is going to take another shot if he peeks around that corner, but I'm loading HE to hit the turret. 671. He's got spall liner on, so it was less. Because it pens 97. See, 131, he was firing HE there. But he's gone now. Um, the 183 is up at the back. The Minotauro on the left hand side, you can see the arrow on the left hand side pointing to where he can't see me. He's down in the gully and he's not, he doesn't have a line of sight until he comes up. So I know I can go over here and take a shot in that 183 if he doesn't fire at me. Yeah, he's all gone. Alucard. That's another rain player. They must have been in a tune. Uh, anyway, right. The Minotaur is sitting down here. He's nearly full health. <laughs> Here's a wee nippy coming run here to give him a wee slap side. There's a fuel tank. I'll set it on fire. There's a Sheridan coming up to give it a little one as well. And that there, Project Louis. Oh, done. Uh, drop in the hat. He's gone. So that, well, they're 103. I was going to say they're 103 and the Sheridan's left. So it's just the Sheridan. And there he is there. Little bit of wiggle just as he's about to fire. And he got the bounce. 579 bounce is good enough for me. Now he's, he's running away. He's got to run away. Uh, one at the bottom of 700 because I had the uh, the triple shot max damage on and that's it game's over so there's little hints and tips there assessing the battlefield don't rush in if you're in a TD learn what the icons are look at the top of your score yeah top three kills yeah they were rain they were in a tune 
But anyway, um, look at the top of the map, look at your icons at the side, assess the field, assess the battlefield. Within the first 20 to 30 seconds when the, your meds and your lights have moved forward and started speeding them up, uh, spotting them up, uh, it's crucial. Learning the icons, learning where they are on the field by using the icons on the mini-map to match what was on the top row. And if they're greyed out, then you know they're gone. You don't have to worry about them. So if it's showing two TDs, a heavy and a med left, you know what's left. And looking at the mini-map, if they're spotted up, you know where they are. So what, are they a danger to you? What damage can they cause if they fire on you? Have you been spotted? Are you in cover? Is there cover close at hand to use? All these little things will help you in future battles. I hope these ones help, folk. Stay safe out there.